Supercross comes to the beach. Daytona, they drop the gate and Blake Baggett on the four gets the whole shot. That's what you need at any 450 Supercross main event. Look at Ken Roxon going down, tangling with his teammate, Cole Seeley. Tomac catches Baggett and the Kawasaki rider moves to the front. Yeah, something clicked for Eli Tomac there in the last latter part of the race in his heat race. Baggett not to be outdone. Roost him in the beach sand. These two would have a tremendous fight. Counterattack by Blake Baggett, getting back by Eli Tomac, not making it easy to get around for the lead. Watch Tomac just send it. Full send by Eli Tomac off that wall jump. He saw Blake Baggett doing it a couple times. Look at this guy. Ah, Marvin Muskin almost goes down. What a save. Mistakes would be the story for Muskan. Rode very fast. Here's another one as he stalls the bike. He sure does. He stalls it on top of that miscue through that rhythm lane. Not what he wanted. Big problems for Aaron Blessinger. Yeah, look at him hopping off the track. Watch when he sits down immediately. He knows something has gone wrong with his ankle. Cooper Webb, the points leader, would charge up through the field, but boy, his teammate gave him fits all night. Well, he sure did, Ralph. I mean, Marvin was absolutely sending it, riding really aggressive, going anywhere and everywhere possibly to try to pass Cooper. And that would do it right there on the last lap. Number three, Eli Tomac wins for the third time here at the Daytona Supercross. Celebrates in great fashion by smoking up that rear tire and then hoisting the trophy as he wins another one here at the World Center of Racing.